the memory chips that store the votes in the EVM. The attacker just attaches it momentarily and it rewrites the votes. This attack leaves no traces and makes sure our favorite candidate wins. Another alarming problem is that the software that counts the votes is stored in chips that are designed so that the software cannot be read back out. This means not even the Election Commission of India, India's highest election authority, can verify that the correct software is in the EVMs. Yet the software in the chips could be dishonest, or the real chips could be replaced by dishonest lookalikes, and nobody could tell. Meanwhile, experts for the Election Commission of India seem to think that the fact that nobody can verify the software actually makes the EVMs more secure. program itself is frozen. It cannot be entered. It cannot be read. Even the BEL and ECL cannot read what is in the program. Remember the man behind the curtain? What if that unreadable code is dishonest? Indian elections employ safeguards against fraud, but this does not prevent our attacks. One safeguard is that poll workers perform a small mock election to test the machines before voting starts. However, it would be easy to program a dishonest machine so that it cheats only after hundreds of votes are cast. Everything would seem normal during the mock election, but the real election results would be dishonest. Another safeguard is that election officials place seals on various parts of the machine. Yet these seals are easy to tamper with. Most consist of a sticker or a piece of string and some red wax. Scientists don't really know how to make seals that cannot be cheaply faked or tampered with, even in applications such as nuclear facilities. Low-tech voting machine seals are an extremely weak defense. People also point out that the order of the candidates is not determined until a few weeks before voting. This is believed to limit the amount of time an attacker has to manipulate the machines. But remember the Bluetooth radio on our dishonest display? Either at the polling stations or at the counting session, a mobile phone with a special application can be used to tell the display which candidate should win. You have witnessed attacks that can change election results on real EVMs in real scenarios. We believe this settles the debate. India's EVMs can be tampered with to steal votes. Paperless electronic voting systems are never transparent and are inherently insecure. The use of paperless EVMs has been discontinued in California, Florida, Ireland, the Netherlands, and Germany. India would be wise to follow suit. For more information, visit IndiaEVM.org.